Welcome back to Stuff About Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to code a for loop in Python. Why would you want to know how to do this? Well, maybe you'd like to execute a certain line of code which repeats itself for increasing numbers um, until a certain condition or a certain number is reached. So I will be showing you how to code a for loop in Python today. Check out the video description as I will try and leave written instructions there. So let's get started. Um, a for loop is quite simple. I think generally the concept is simple. It's more just the syntax of it in Python. So in Python, what you would do is you would just say for i in range, and then you type whatever range that you'd like. So in Python, you don't need to say um, Python obviously starts from zero, so you don't need to say you don't need to specify from zero to eight, for example. You don't need to specify eight. I mean. You don't need to specify zero because it will already do that unless you're starting from another number like one then you'd need to specify specify the starting point otherwise you can just go to the number that you'd like to stop at which here is eight um yeah great so now we've got an indent obviously you need to make sure that whatever is after your for loop and whatever needs to be inside your for loop has is indented so you can't start writing your code there. It has to be after an indent. So yeah, so now we can basically use I um, to update our code. So for example, if let's say outside the loop, we have something, we have a constant F or a counter, let's let that be a counter that tells us um, what point our code is in so if we say counter equals zero and then we would say um counter is equals to i plus counter so now what this will do is this will update and return a number until all numbers have been reached so this should give us a sum of everything in the for loop right so now if outside of that for loop we print counter, let's run this code, it would give us 28. So that essentially is the sum of everything. So it goes 0 plus 0, that's now 0. Then it goes back into the loop. It's at 0 plus 1, which is 1. Then we get 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 plus for etc and it would add up everything in that for loop and yeah and that's basically it if you wanted to know how to code a for loop in python this is the easiest way i know how and if you know of another way then leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more videos